Welcome to the MyDCF Learning Labs. This will be a very quick demonstration of the interface for the Learning Labs and some of the features. Um, when you first come into the Learning Labs, you'll come into a main screen that has a button that says Access My Lab. If you click that button, it takes you to the main menu. Uh, there's three buttons on the main menu, Data Center Fundamentals, which is the main lab exercise. There's a file management page, which we'll discuss later and a tutorial uh, that will basically give you screen by screen uh, screenshots of the different things I'm going to describe in this demo. If you click the data center fundamentals that takes you to the menu for the different data center fundamentals labs that are available. If you start with lab one, when you look at this lab loading page uh, at the top, there's some text. If it's red, it will indicate that you need to load or deploy the container lab for the DC Fundamentals lab. Uh, if it's black as it is here, then that means you can just load the starting configs by pressing the button on the left. This will load the configs for the lab. Once that's completed, then you can either click the link at the bottom or you can click the button on the left that takes you to the lab steps. This is the main lab interface screen. Uh, basically on the right hand side you have uh, a number of tabs that you can tab through to connect to the different nodes. On the left you have scrollable text that uh, basically takes you through the instructions to perform the lab exercises. In the middle there's a handle that you can drag that will allow you to resize uh, the right and the left sides to adjust and let you see more instructions or see more of the lab windows. There are hyperlinks at the top that will take you to different sections of the lab exercises. And there are buttons at the bottom that will take you to different steps of the exercise. So if some exercises are long, they might have different buttons th at the bottom that will give you uh, different content on the left. If you look at the right hand side, if you click each of the tabs in this topology, you will connect to each of those nodes. So I'm connecting to leaf one, leaf two, spine one and spine two. Once you've initially connected, then you can go back and forth between them and uh, you can easily switch back and forth. If you want more instances of a particular node, like say I want an additional tab for leaf one, I can click the plus button off the right and that will give me an additional leaf one tab. You can also copy and paste text from the left hand side. So if I go to the instruction and copy, I can go to the right and paste. And then you can see the output that happens in your node and you can compare that with what's in your lab exercises for validation. You can click the link at the top to make a backup of the, um, of the configurations for the different nodes in the topology, the leaf and spine nodes. And then there's a link to download to your PC. That takes us to the file management page, which is on the navigation bar at the top where you can go to the different lab exercises or all the way to the right is file management. And this lets you restore the configuration locally from the lab, or you can upload uh, from your PC from a previous lab session. One thing to note about the file management is that the backed up configuration files are stored uh, on the lab VM. So any configurations that you wish to save for a future lab session, you should make sure and download them. And you can download them from the file management screen here. You also have the opportunity to download them as you're saving them. Uh, and then when you book a future session, you can use the button here to upload. And you can, once you upload, you can use the button to restore. Uh, it's just simply clicking the restore button for a particular backup and that will go and load those configurations on the nodes for you. You can see in the upper right hand corner it gives you an indication of approximately when your lab will end. So the one warning is that when the lab ends the lab VM will go away and, and the files that were backed up on the lab VM will be deleted. So make sure and download anything that you wish to save uh, to your PC. Thank you for watching this demonstration and thank you for using my DCF Learning Labs.